Morning everyone. So today is Jackie's birthday. Happy birthday. And it's gonna be a bit of an animal themed day, so <clears throat> we're gonna to go to Zanti Strays and show you around there and hopefully have a chat with somebody that works there and show you the work they do there. But the first thing we're gonna do is go and get some bikes, so let's go. Little fella, hello. Made a little friend following with Jackie's nice burnt legs. Or a Tony's. Oh. <laughs> Seen you before. <laughs> Last time we're here. Go and see your relatives at the dog shower. So he's got cycles here. Looks like you do scooters and quads as well. Take the dog with you. Okay. There's the bikes for the day. Cool your red legs off on that bike, Jackie. <laughs> and away we'll go. Wrong side, Jackie. She's <laughs> away on the wrong side already. Arrived at the shelter, it was I don't know, maybe it's five ten minutes on the bikes. Had a tractor actually slow her down on the way, <laughs> so we took that, we took over that. Um, but we're right, it's not too far, it's just off the main road heading back towards the airport from Calamac. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> I'm Jamie anyway, and this is Jackie. Jamie and Jackie. Jamie and Jackie. Jess yeah. and Jen. Hi, are you all right? Yeah. So you, you guys volunteers here then? Yeah. yeah. The whole year. Yeah. Every morning. Every How long has this place been here then? Santa's Race exists since 10 years, uh -huh. but the shelter is here since around 6 years when I right. was Right. Okay. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? More than 120 at the moment. Really? And they are not included there. Right. Dogs. Right. Yeah, we'll see. Obviously, seeing quite a few on the. Yeah, we'll be in sport now. Like, yeah, quite a popular place. Adopted out of What kind of costs are involved for transporting a dog back to the UK? It depends which transport you use. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, if it's with a plane, you pay, of course, the box mm -hmm. and the cargo, or if it's hand luggage, then uh, the small box. Right. But uh, for the adoption, it's normally 150 for the dog. Right. Only. Okay. The transport is mostly the, oh, right, the, the, the most cost. Yeah. yeah, I know that. Okay. Yeah. But there's included the vaccination, the chip, yeah. and the sterilization. Yeah. How long does it take to get them back to the UK? Well, when you decide to, for example, you want to have now Buddha, mm -hmm. he's done, okay. take him. <coughs> right. Oh, right, okay. If it's a puppy not fully vaccinated yet, you yeah. have to wait until the vaccines okay. are done. Right. 
But mm -hmm. it's also with the contract, you have to see that the dog is getting sterilized. Yeah. And if you yeah. don't do that, you just take the dog. Okay. Right. Yeah. This is Buddha. <laughs> you can better explain the sickness. Yeah, he, he has uh, leash analysis. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've Some heard of them that. do oh. have. Uh, he unfortunately has a really bad level of it. So you can see on his um, symptoms. On his leg there. And oh, oh, right. yeah. his head here is a little bit of a funny shape. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lesson. So he's getting medication for that, which obviously costs money, and yeah. Uh, is he going to be medicated every, every he's day? He's for sponsoring. Yeah, so well. we yeah. also have sponsoring, so you can sponsor them, you know, and put oh, money okay, towards okay. Um, treatment and things like that. So, yeah. Okay. So I'll show you guys around. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. How many volunteers do you have? Yeah. So, me and Jenny are more sort of full-time right. and then we have uh astrid who does like vet runs okay. things like that we also have the admin team who are also volunteers who do right. Right, online things um but yeah we have mike as well who's recently started with us and yeah um we have people come over in the summer uh but not so many in the winter right, so, yeah. Right. Do, you, do you live out here then yep we both live here yeah lucky yep <laughs> 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 Watch your fingers or please don't oh, touch me for Like yeah. male or female, okay. so people can. Hello. 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 Food donations and yep, we take food donations, money donations. The money donations are the the big one because it goes to more the veterinary costs. So yes. it's yeah. huge. Right. Um, but yeah, we uh, we always can use the food donations, the toys, the leads, um, treatment like worming, flea treatment, yeah, yeah. typically. Yeah, um, it's all helpful. For the food, yeah. So yeah, our biggest challenge here, I would say, is when we get new dogs or we're trying to keep everybody happy. Like, yeah. uh, there's some, in some pens up to five dogs now and as you can see it's not the biggest of spaces yeah. and we, we're lucky we don't get fights every day but we are getting them a lot more at the moment because the transport isn't regular. Right. Um, but that's our biggest challenge is uh, fitting, you know, making the pack yeah, uh, comfortable happy. and happy, yeah. yeah. We can't afford the, the right material at the moment, uh -huh. uh, but they cut themselves a lot. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. That's a shame. Hello. Hello. So how long have you lived here? I've lived here three, four years on and off. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you live close by or? I live 20 minutes uh, that way to the Silicon. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It's the other side of the mountain, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the other girls live a bit closer. Um, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. as well. Um, yeah, before it was just like 
uh, no, no perimeter, it was all very, um, you know, not like this. Yeah. I didn't have the, the drainage. Okay. It's all through donation. Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Socks. Socks. Yeah. It's a little bit like what Lola was like. The body and the colorings. Yeah. So he had, he has like, went back a little bit more. Yeah, he's got mountain dogs. Yeah, yeah. Take me home. Eh? You say take me home. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> Take me home! Uh, how old are these? Uh, they are only just vaccinated, so they would be two, three months now. Yeah. Are looking for a particular look or, you know, temperament. I can tell you who's, you know, yeah, who's like what. Like so she uh, was dumped outside the uh, shelter with another female mama dog. Uh, this one and they had uh, two puppies each so they were on a rope that somebody had, and then they, they put the puppies were in a box next to them and um, she's very sweet actually she's very she's loving she yeah yeah she was actually we found out when they when she went to the vet uh, that she was the mum of all of them actually so yeah so she was just her friend basically so her name is Anastasia and that's Hazel her friend there yeah, she's very, very sweet. Um, she gets on with all the other dogs. Uh, she's young, I think, two. Max. Right. Yeah. She's a beautiful girl. A lot of black dogs get overlooked just because, you know, they don't, um, they don't get the look in. That were seven puppies found in the bin. Oh, yes. They were fresh born, just a couple of hours, oh. and we split them. So some volunteers they have three, two. I have two, oh, but she has a, like a cyst on her tail. So I go to the vet now for a check, and they are now two weeks old. Oh. Yeah, they just dumped them in the bin. That's mm. horrible. Yeah, but it's a nice girly. Oh baby! And you can meet her. So some of the dogs obviously don't get uh, don't get to see many men. Mm -hmm. So she might be a little bit, you know, standoffish. Uh, standoff with you. But um, just sit down, let her come to you. Yeah. Always under, not over the head. That goes to Jan. All right. <laughs> Give me those kisses. Hello, baby. 
that on his face. Hello, baby. Hello. 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 So that's Sandy Strays. We've probably been here about two hours. You can go have a look at the dogs. You can go in this little playpen here and you can go in and, and sit with the dogs to see if, if you take to them and if they take to you. They're really friendly inside to show you around. And it looks like we might have found a dog for Jackie's <laughs> birthday. So give this place a visit if you come, if you like your dogs. Um, it is quite heartbreaking really because they just get dumped and left and it's just horrible what they do, they just tie them up and pretty much leave them for dead. Put them in a, I think the pups we looked at, were they put in a bin? found in a box. In a bin. box in the bin, which is just horrible. But um, the they do a great job here. Um, there's quite a few volunteers, full time and part time. But they're doing a great job, so like I say, come and give the place a visit. Okay, so we've arrived at the little farm. So this is Chloe. It's the owner. <laughs> I just like the owner. <laughs> <laughs> 